Well, hey guys, this is a very kind of off the cuff kind of video. Um, I am in my kitchen. It is 20 to 6 and I need to feed my babies their supper and I need to eat too. Um, but I wanted to film this because I wanted to share with you what we're doing to prep for a, ro <laughs> for a road trip. It's going to be a long one. Um, we are heading to Pennsylvania for my uncle's funeral. For those of you who are unfamiliar and are new to my channel, I'm an American living in Canada, um, Northern Ontario, and um, my whole family is in Pennsylvania. That's where I'm from. Um, and so my uncle passed away very suddenly um, from cancer, and um, he passed away within like less than a week of knowing that there was nothing that they could do for his cancer at that point. So. It's very kind of tragic and sad and very last minute for us to be heading down there. So we just recently did a big grocery shop. We usually shop between, for Costco it's one month and then for regular groceries we usually do every three weeks. Um, and at the beginning of the shop I do a lot of fresh, pro um, not fresh, yes fresh, um, but perishable, really perishable kind of produce, things like berries, zucchini, um, tomatoes, lettuce, things like that. And my hair is just crazy today. Um, so anyways, I'm going to flip you around and share with you kind of what I'm doing and what I've pulled together for dinner, as well as some of the road trip snacks that we're going to do. Okay, so first of all, I started with this Kirkland brand uh, chicken tenders, and I cook them from frozen. I love them that they're smaller rather than just like a large breast because we usually shred them up in some sort of way anyways. And then your portions can kind of stay a bit smaller, um, but you can still really be satisfied with these. So I drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on them um, and I have crackbox pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, and Greek seasoning on top of them. And I just season them while they're frozen and then they look like this when they come out of the oven. So we're gonna have these for dinner and then whatever is left over, I'm gonna make um, myself some wraps. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of an E and a bit of an S tomorrow while we're traveling, you know, switching back and forth. So um, for my E, I'm going to do uh, Joseph's wrap with, um, you know, chicken and stuff inside. So, um, and then for dinner, so I sauteed up some zucchini and mushrooms onion and then the last tomato that I had um, with all of my you know produce and stuff so and then I sprinkled a teeny bit of parmesan cheese on top and that will be uh, part of our veggie for dinner and this whole container of raspberries so I'm gonna do some raspberries with my dinner and then later this evening if I want a snack I'm going to do um, some more raspberries and maybe a little bit of Greek yogurt for some protein now this is going to be the bulk of my dinner or my lunch or whatever tomorrow um, the road trip is about eight hours but with kids it's usually like 12 I'm gonna do my best to stay away from fast food and I'm really gonna try and keep my family away from fast food um, sometimes it's inevitable but hopefully we'll be able to stop maybe like at a grocery store or Walmart rather than fa fast food um, the point is we just want to get to Pennsylvania so who knows what's gonna happen anyways here's my huge salad this is a really huge container and this is all the lettuce in my fridge so I added in some sliced cucumber that I um, had and needed to get used up um, some chicken tenders that I sliced some goat cheese um, great tomatoes and then for the dressing it's uh, trim healthy mama ranch dressing so it's like half greek yogurt half mayonnaise um, and a bunch of ranch type seasonings so you can find this recipe in the trim healthy mama cookbook and i'm sure you could probably use a whole lot of homemade ranch dressings because they're really good it does look like there's a lot on here some of that is just the goat cheese but also a i'm trying to use it up and b this is a huge huge container so then over here, excuse the mess, y'all, um, we had these little cutie oranges, and I find from Costco they go bad kind of quick. So I wanted to use as many as possible. So this is where I'm going to be switching into E-mode once the salad has kind of, you know, played its course. Um, what I've done is I have um, peeled some of these clementines for my kiddos and um, these will be easy to pass back to them in their car seats my kids are three and six so my son kind of likes them my daughter really likes them so she has two he has one and then this big bag is for my husband and I both excuse the excuse the goat cheese y'all 
Um, and then same thing with the grapes. So this big bag is from husband and I. Um, mainly more for him uh, than myself because I don't want to overdo it with the carbs and whatnot. But again, this will be a healthier, <laughs> even if I'm not like, if I go for my carb limit, this will be a far better um, road trip snack than doing you know, potato chips or whatever else you can find along the road, you know, like at the gas station. So again, same thing with the kids. So that is it for this portion of getting ready. I okay, so here's what I've got going on for drinks for tomorrow. So I picked up a bottle of uh, kombucha at my health food store today. Um, I am not 100% sure if this is on plan. I am actually thinking it might not be. Um, it does have um, some juice concentrate. So this might not be the best choice, but I think it's going to be, I don't know, <laughs> better than like a diet soda. Um, and then this is the making of my Good Girl Moonshine. So I have the tea all steeped. And tomorrow I will go ahead and I will actually make this. And I will have that for on the road. Then I like to fill up my big Nalgene bottle. So, okay. <laughs> it is a 32 ounce bottle. And of course that's not even showing up now. But it is a 32 ounce bottle and it has a screw cap on it. I will add some liquid water enhancers. These are President's Choice brand here in Canada, and these are sweetened with stevia. So I will add some of that to my water. And then we're also going to freeze some regular, uh, just plastic water bottles that we have on hand um, to keep our cooler, f to keep our cooler cool. And then as they thaw, we can drink them as well because bottled water, buying it at uh, the gas station is just a lot of money. I've also got water bottles out for the kids, raspberries uh, for later tonight and then perhaps tomorrow, paper towels to go in the truck because goodness knows accidents happen. Um, and then I also picked up a bar of Lily's milk chocolate. Um, if you're new to Trim Healthy Mama, this is sweetened with stevia and this is on plan. So that will be my treat on the road. So that is what is going on so far. So I've got the chicken set aside. Um, I am just waiting. Oh, these are actually pretty thawed now. Thawed now. Um, these are Wonder Wraps. These are the Trim Healthy Mama Wonder Wraps. It's a recipe in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. These are fuel pull wraps. So I could just actually shred this chicken, wrap it up here, and call it good to go, add a bit of mustard, and it would be fuel pull. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I could either eat one with my ginormous salad or with some of uh, the fruit that we've got going on uh, for an E. Okay, so here are the Wonder Wraps. I ended up only doing two because the third one was super soggy. So I don't know if it would have dried out, you know, as I went along or whatever, but I just, it just... Yuck. Um, so I have a chicken tender in each. Ooh, hello, mustard. And um, mustard in these. And then the rest of the chicken tenders I just bagged up. And I will bring these with us. Um, my husband might eat these. My kiddos won't. They're weird. They don't eat chicken. So, um, yeah. So lastly, I'm going to put together some trail mix. Um, I am going to bring along these dry roasted peanuts. Um, I love to have these in between as a snack because they're very satiating um, and I find for me that a little goes a very long way. So if I'm ever really ravenous, I reach for these and have a handful and it really does well for me. So um, I got to check my book and see if I can have pumpkin seeds on an S. Um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. So I'm going to double check. If I can, then I'll just add these both into a baggie. Um, but I'm also going to mix up some trail mix for my husband and my kiddos. Um, this is not Trim Healthy Mama Friendly. Dried fruit is not. It's extra. Um, it's uh, really concentrated sugars, um, which isn't the greatest, I guess, <laughs> for long car rides. But it will, I think, be a nice sweet treat for my um, kids and my husband. So I'll do a little bit of pumpkin seeds. There's papaya, pineapple. I have banana chips inside of the pantry, so I'll pull those out. These are dried blueberries, and I also have raisins, so I'll add some raisins. And then um, these are apricots. So I'll make up a couple baggies, one for my son, one for my husband, and then one for my daughter. I did go ahead and check, and yes, all nuts and seeds are on plan. So I'm going to mix these two together.